Hello everybody, my name is Mallory Zondag. I'm the resident artist at the Allenton Art Museum and today I'm just going to be sharing a little video of the workshops that are coming up this weekend. We're making fabric cocoons. So the reason we're making them is they have something to do with the installation I put up at the museum and something that I feel that I've come to understand or think about, especially over this past year, is that I think that humans have cocoons. We can't see them. They're not physical like a caterpillar cocoon that we see in nature, but they're a, a collection of our surroundings, a collection of things in our life that make it easier or harder for us to be happy and healthy and safe and secure. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make our ideal human cocoons. What do you think everybody should have to have a happy, healthy, safe, and secure life? Should their cocoon be, you know, nice and covered and strong? Are there certain colors that mean happy or joy or nature to you that you think every, every person should be able to experience? Um, so you have a kit that has all the tools you need to make your cocoon, and that's going to include a balloon, it's going to include fabric, and some Mod Podge glue. I'll be using some cornstarch glue today because that's what I have on hand. Does the same thing, and we'll be using it to coat our fabric to cover our balloons. And before you coat your fabric, if you wanna take markers and draw a picture or write a message or words on any of the fabric that really means something to you that would make the perfect human cocoon, what do you wish for every person to really have as their, as their surroundings, as their circumstances? Um, that can be something that you write or draw on that fabric that's very personal to you. And when you're done with the cocoons, if you want to, you can bring some to the museum and they can be added to the installation. We're having a community made part of the installation that's going to be built of all these things we're making in these workshops over the next year. So if you would like to be a part of the installation, feel free to bring an extra cocoon maybe that you've made or one that you've made that you want to give to the installation to be hung up in the museum, which is pretty awesome. So you guys can see now my workspace. I've got my glue, my cornstarch glue for you guys. That's Mod Podge. If you'd like to make cornstarch glue for at any reason at any point for fabric sculpture in the future, all it is is a quarter cup of cornstarch, a cup of water mixed over medium heat and you'll see it. It's very cool. It becomes a glue. So that's that. And then we have our balloon. That's going to be our structure for our cocoon that we're going to wrap the fabric around. And then, of course, we have fabric. So you should have a, a collection of all different types of, you know, colors and patterns and textures. And you pick the ones that you want to use. You can draw on them and write on them, something that's meaningful to you. And you can arrange them really any way you want. So one way to do that, I'm going to show you, is by really kind of wrapping you could make like a if you have a, a longer strip of fabric that you want to use you can do this but it can also be done in shorter strips so i'll show you with the long one and then show you with the short one i'm gonna take this fabric and i'm gonna dip it right into the glue and just kind of submerge it in there you of course have a paintbrush that you are more than welcome to use to coat the fabric kind of painting it over the surface if you don't want to get your hands dirty but i'm just going to kind of get that in there and get it all covered and use my hands to make sure that this glue is really getting all into the fabric. And this is just how I made a lot of the cocoons that are in the exhibit right now that are lining lining the halls. So you might see that and be like, oh, I know how to make those now. That's pretty awesome. You can do this with any, any fabric and any form. So now that it's kind of coated in the glue, I'm going to place it onto my balloon, starting at the bottom. And then I'm going to wrap. I'm going to wrap it around to kind of seal it up over the bottom, right? Because we don't want our cocoons to have holes in them. And if you feel like you didn't get enough glue on, like I feel like I maybe didn't get enough glue onto here, I can just take some. You can use your brush or your hands and you can just kind of smear it over the top. Really make sure it soaks through the fabric and through to the balloon like so. And the reason we're using a balloon is because once this dries, you'll be able to pop the balloon and then it kind of disappears and you pull it out and you have, or leave it hanging inside, and then you have this hollow cocoon. So the balloon's not going to be there, but because the fabric 
that's soaked with the glue has dried around the shape of the balloon, it's going to hold that shape for pretty much forever, which is pretty awesome. So I'm going to keep wrapping like this. So this is one way you could do it. If you want to paste it on like this and kind of have it look a little bit like a cocoon in nature where it has these sort of lines of material that get built up around the caterpillar, you can have it look a little like that. I'm using green fabric, uh, one, because it's I have a lot of green fabric, and two, because I really think that nature and being outdoors and having a relationship with the outdoors in some way is so important for people, for us to be happy and for us to be healthy. I don't think it's good when we, you know, never really get outside or never really experience the amazing outdoors. So I, I love nature. I love it so much. So I am using green fabric for my cocoon and I'm making sure there are no holes and that it's wrapped up really nice and tight because I think that is also a key to having a very good protective cocoon. Keeps us safe. So that's one way you can cover your balloon. I could then put more on top of this. I could build more fabric out on top of this in different colors and different ways. You can, you can cut your fabric up in different shapes. I could cut little, little tabs instead, or maybe I'll cut little leaves. Maybe I'll take my fabric and cut it up and I'll cut a little leaf shape out of this recycled t-shirt that I'm using. So I'll cut like that and I'll cut again. And now I've got something that's kind of leaf shaped and I can dip that in the glue, make sure it's all coated. And then I can place that onto my cocoon. Might be kind of hard to see. There's not a lot of contrast there, but so you can kind of decorate your cocoon with shapes that you can cut out of the fabric if you'd like. Now don't worry about the glue itself because it's going to dry clear, but if you have like lumps or bumps of, of Mod Podge that are on your cocoon, just take your brush or take your finger and kind of smear it smooth so that they don't dry in little clumps like that. Unless, you know, if you want to do that as part of your texture, if that's intentional, I say go for it. It's one way to kind of utilize the glue in a different way, which could be very cool. So the other thing you can do with your cocoon, I could call this done if you really wanted to, this could be it, but you could also take some more fabric. I'm gonna cut it like this. And once again, you can either use your paintbrush to coat it in glue, or you can dip it right into that, into that Mod Podge, make sure it's coated. And something you can also do to make sure that there's no lumps of glue left on here is you can kind of do this squeegee with your fingers. You can put the fabric in between your two fingers and sort of squeegee it down the line so that you get rid of any lumps or bumps. But now I can, I can take this gluey fabric. I can start again. Maybe I'll start more towards the top for this step and keep wrapping. Because you can almost create like a like a tail at the very top or like a twig like shape that your cocoon can sort of hang from in the installation by continuing to wrap it all the way up the top. So you see how I went there? I keep kind of wrapping and I go over the top of the balloon, making sure that it's all sort of still connected to it to each other, because that's where the glue's gonna dry. And then you could leave this little tail like this, or you could even twist it, kind of wrapping it around your finger so it dries in this twisted form like that, kind of like a piece of yarn. And then it can sort of hang from that little piece in the exhibit. So that could be your cocoon. Now, again, like I said, feel free to embellish this with as many different types of fabric as you want. Really take a moment to think about if you want to draw or write something on the fabric that you're putting on, because that 
can represent what a color could represent or a texture, you know, whatever, however you want to create your cocoon is how we're going to do this. So this is a way of sculpting with fabric by applying this, this glue to it and using a form to uh, wrap it around. So this is a really cool way to kind of turn maybe some scrap fabric, like some scrap t-shirts into some cool, awesome art.